so Tom Paris isn't able to see that alien from where he's standing because there's a. Can wall. you move him like, like one there. down? One down. No, there's there's too much of a there's like a wall right there. Too many corners. Yeah. I think the only hope of killing that guy this turn would be to have Neelix move into here and then um, take a shot. Yeah. But he has to stand up, that's the thing. So if we move to here, he has 39 left. Can he shoot him from here? Oh. He can? But he just keeps hitting the wall. Run him out. Yeah. It's worth a shot. Next. Uh, he's gonna die. Tom Paris. Miles O'Brien. Um. I guess have him move to the building. He's got a lot of time units, so. And he only needs 15 for a snapshot, so he can crouch. Uh, Jordy LaForge. I guess we'll move down to next to the landing gear. And then crouch. And then we got people still in the ship here that needs to get out. So we'll move Spock up onto the ramp. Uh... Deanna Troy needs to pick up a laser pistol. Uh, right there. And then get onto the ramp. Uh, maybe even just... What is her string? Here. Only 29. Oh, okay. I don't have many people with high strength now that uh, Odo and Data died. Uh, Chakotay has 31. That's That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know what like the requirements are for those type of guns. We're gonna assume that he's gonna be able to take that. And then... Step off. See how far down the ramp he can get to there. Okay, and then... She needs a weapon, so she'll pick up the... Uh, rifle. I'm pretty sure she has low strength. Yeah, only 25. Ah, uh, this is too many people on the ramp. <laughs> okay, everyone else will just move forward. 7 of 9 to there. Worf can move forward. Wesley Crusher will move up. Who has no weapons whatsoever. Uh, Q will move up. And Harry Kim will move up. And then we'll see what happens. Um. Cool. Super lucky. Why was he going after Miles O'Brien so hard? That was kind of crazy. Um, do, where do I, what do I want to do? Try to get a shot at him through the window. I don't see him. Hmm. Thirty-five units left. Definitely not enough. Okay, um, so I guess he'll crouch behind the hay and hope not to die. Sounds like plan. <laughs> Do you think Neelix could get up to here, turn, and have enough for a reaction shot? Uh, That's a no. No. So he'll get up to here and crouch. Miles O'Brien will... Put a proximity mind in his hand. And then 
head to here. Oh! There he is. How come... Uh, he wasn't seen before? I don't know. And fail. I think it's the windows, like... Yeah, the windows this way, so... I was seeing down this avenue, not on an angle. Yeah, Miles O'Brien's dead now. Tom Paris. Can probably get a grenade in there. I don't know if he can... Like, I think Tom Paris might have an angle. Let's see. Grenade. 38 remaining. Oh, I'm wait. 25... 37? You can try it. He's got really bad accuracy, and he's under the boat, too. Oh, Tom That's not Paris. that bad. Nice shot. I I didn't. I completely forgot that he could throw over the the building. That's what I was concerned with. I was like, I don't know if he can even get it in there, but he just chucked it right over. Uh, Jordy LaForge will get up near the landing gear. And does he have? Yeah, he's got enough to crouch. Uh, Deanna Troy will get up against this wall and crouch. I don't think there's that many aliens left because their turns aren't lasting that long. Although I just realized this is probably a bad angle. It like it might only be this one because it is a small, and you did shoot it down. Yeah. Um. You know what? Yeah, we're just gonna end the turn here after Spock crouches and see what happens. Explosion! Okay, there's more than one. Hmm. So far, so good, though. Yeah. Uh, Neelix See, like, has that's that, the ship. that motion detection. That little square. He's gonna move up and use that. Yeah, it's nowhere nearby. I kind of want to look at that window, but I'm pretty sure it's a bad idea. Uh, Miles O'Brien will head oh, down. Oh, no. Go up one level. Click on Cisco again. No, don't click there. Go down one level and click on Cisco. Okay. Then go up one and look down. What? Why can't he see it? That's weird. I don't think he's up high enough. Um, Miles Orion, to here. And crouch. Wow, there's a lot of space here. Uh, to here? Just try and spread everyone out on a good angle. Deanna Troy has a lot of movement, so she'll move uh, up behind Neelix. You know, I've been lucky so far that I haven't had any grenades go off near me. I know, except for Riker. Well, that wasn't even an alien grenade. I, they do throw grenades. Yeah, I've seen the alien but. grenades like when I've walked over the corpses and I'm pretty sure I've seen it in my stores, but yeah, I have not actually had one thrown at me. I'm wondering if I've got a little bit of overkill going on with the amount of units I've got running around.
Okay. You know what? I'm going to leave everyone else in the ship for now. Because I really think it's like just one more. It's hard to say he might be in the ship still. Yeah, no sign of him. I'll see if I can get to this window. Well, he's not down there. Let us go down a level and get Miles O'Brien out and turn. Oh, where's the door to? Oh, uh, it's in the southwest like spot of that ship. Huh. Shoot, I moved him too far. It's fine though. I didn't see anyone with the high explosives. I don't know if I brought any this time. I thought I did. Maybe I just don't know who has it. Let's have Neelix move up. Try and get him as close to that ship as possible so he can start getting readings to find out if that's where he is. I'm really liking the motion, oh, yeah, the motion detectors. Scanner. Yeah, the motion scanners are really helpful. So much information. And... Let's get Spock up in here too. That should be good. We're gonna again leave everyone else out because I don't think I really need anyone else. Okay. Let's see if there's any movement. There is. Six over and six down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Shoot. He's around here somewhere. It looks like somewhere. in the ship. Yeah, he's, he's in the ship. Uh, go up one level. Okay, sometimes there's a hole in the center of the ship, and you can just throw grenades in there. Not today. And crouch. Yeah, that's a really good spot. What's her reactions? Oh, I keep forgetting about that. Oh, wow. That seems high. Is that high? It seems high. 46. Hmm. Uh, let's move forward. I'd like to figure out who has the heavy explosives, because I wouldn't mind trying to blow open the side of this wall or something. Oh, uh, you can't blow up the walls of the ship. Even on, like, a small one? Yeah. Only the, uh, like, the interior walls. Hmm. Hidden movement. Hidden movement. Uh, let's move Neelix over here and see if I can get another reading. Use five forward, three up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So he's right there. Yeah, he's just wandering around in his ship. He's not actually doing anything. Maybe he's making repairs. Maybe. Is it a bad idea to just throw a proximity mine in front of the door and then just skip all the turns until he eventually leaves? Yep, because he probably won't leave. Okay. 
Um, go. Let's have people. Are you gonna forward. go for it this turn? No, I'm gonna get everyone up and close, and that way, if someone dies, someone else will be able to move in that same turn and shoot him. Yep, because it's the worst part is getting through that door. Because as soon as you send one guy through, they can start to shoot. And then, like, the next turn you have to do it all over again. So if you can at least have, like, one guy that's almost expendable or can take a hit or something, just to open the door. And then you can do whatever you want. Hmm. I'm not sure if any of the characters I have have really bad stats right now. Is the smoke growing? Uh, nope. I don't know. Seems more smoky. Because I thought the first time you went out there, there was just smoke coming through the door. I'm trying to figure out who has like the most health slash the worst stats. Jordy LaForge has some high health. He may have just been nominated for this run, yeah. Yeah, next turn, Jordy LaForge is going to open the door. Do it, Jordy, do it. <laughs> 